From man's artistry in the cultivation of flowers, we try now to recapture the results of man's ingenuity and skill in mechanical artistry. An engineering project that illustrates to the full the marvels of modern science. The face of the earth changes, for destruction precedes construction. Nothing can stand in the way of this irresistible force. The project is the laying of a massive pipeline through which gas can be piped direct to the housewife. The sort of thing that in a few years' time we shall take for granted. Now let's watch the start of this tremendous feat. What could be more impressive than the power of this monster-like trenching machine which scoops out ditches from six inches to six feet deep at the rate of a mile a day? This particular work is being carried out at Southampton with site agent John Webb supervising operations with great care. An error of a fraction of an inch on a road map could result in digging up someone's front garden but these men don't make mistakes. When you're transporting something as dangerous as gas, and remember it will be carried through at a pressure of 150 pounds per square inch, the faintest possibilities of a crack or leak must be eliminated. After the joints have been welded together, they are tested by two ingenious pieces of equipment. See if you can guess what they're doing. Very simply, in the first test, a radioactive isotope is used to X-ray the joint. The film is exposed for nine minutes, during which time the welding inspector stands well away. That contraption is not as harmless as it looks. This equally strange looking device is called a holiday detector, operating at 20,000 volts. Holiday being the name in the industry for any flaw in the protective coating. Whatever will they think of next? Talking about strange looking objects, this is called a pig, don't ask us why, and is blown through the completed pipe with compressed air at 100 pounds per square inch to clear away any foreign bodies lodged inside. The pipes are protected still further by a simple yet effective measure best described as cathodic protection. Anodes, which are really pieces of magnesium, are placed in the soil nearby to attract corrosion away from the pipes. Hence there's no danger from things like rust. Because of a law which prohibits giant tracked vehicles from using public roads, the 10-ton trenching machine has to be loaded onto a transporter, even for a journey of only a few hundred yards. As you can imagine, the loading, and then almost immediately unloading again, is a full-scale operation in itself. those interested in statistics, the section of pipeline in this area will go under four major railway lines, across two rivers, and over and through swampland, forests and fields. However, it has been rerouted to avoid public parks and part of the Greenbelt. The machinery used takes swampland in its stride. A channel is merely scooped out and the pipes laid across. And so the pipeline moves on, a triumph of engineering skill in its own right and a project that will benefit thousands of homes in the future. In fact, a typical example of 20th century ingenuity and foresight. <laughs>